this is probably a really bad idea filming this video but you know I don't care but I I am here to give my first ever Miraculous Ladybug episode review yesterday in Spain the newest Miraculous Ladybug episode Dark Owl premiered and I obviously watched it on the internet because I'm cheap and I ain't waited until spring 2018 to watch season 2 plus avoiding spoilers is very hard for me. And so since I'm doing a review on this new episode, you're gonna want to leave if you don't want to be spoiled because I'm just about to spoil the crap out of you. So if you haven't watched Dark Owl yet and you don't want to be spoiled, I will leave right now. Leave right now, okay? Goodbye. Goodbye. If you haven't watched it, leave, okay? Leave, leave, leave. Have you left? Please leave if you haven't watched it. <laughs> All right, people, let's do this. Let's discuss this new episode. I haven't done one of these in so long. This is so weird. Where do I even begin? Because I really just want to talk about the big scene that happened in this episode, which is the reveal. Going into this episode, I was so scared because I hadn't been spoiled, so I didn't know like a reveal was happening, but I remember when I was looking up the episode on YouTube, the thumbnail was like Adrian with his eyes closed, and I think like Tiki was in front of him, or maybe Plague was next to him, and I was like, what is this? <laughs> so this episode starts right off with the good old principal of Martin and Adrian's school, opening up this secret compartment in his wall and we find out that he is trying to be like Ladybug and Cat Noir. I found that to be very random but cute and he calls himself the Black Owl and he just wants to save people and be like them and it was very very sweet but it was so funny when he was trying to save that cat and he climbed up the tree and the cat was scratching at him and then he fell and then Ladybug and Cat Noir had to save him. I felt really bad but I couldn't help but laughing but I felt bad. And then Ladybug almost revealed his identity and I was like ugh. Ladybug, no, don't do this. Don't take this away from him. And then later on, she did. And I was like, ah. Now I found what Ladybug and Kanoir were trying to do for him. Very sweet by getting Alia to be the paperboard girl and making the fake miraculous news. Like that was smart. And I was really hoping it was going to work. But deep down, I was like, ain't no way this is going to work. How much money can I bet Ladybug's gonna reveal him? And then she did. I felt so bad after that happened because there was like that TV uh, segment about he was like social media's number one loser. And I felt so bad because he just wants to be a superhero. But no, he doesn't get to do that. And now everyone knows his identity and I'm like, Ladybug, why? Also, can we take a moment to appreciate that moment when they were talking about him and like planning their plan and how Ladybug and Ken Noir were sitting on the rooftop together just chilling and talking? Oh my gosh, my heart. And of course, he got akumatized because that's just what happens to everyone in the show. But what makes this episode so interesting is that, you know, Hakamaz has akumatized so many people in this show and out of all of them, it's Dark Owl that actually gets something done and is the closest one to getting their miraculous. That whole entire time they were at the arena fighting, I legit had my hands on my head and kept repeating to myself, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then when Dark Owl got them tied up together with his like rope thing and then they fell to the ground and Cat Noir was on this side, Lebo was on this side and you know Cat Noir being so in love trying to kiss her and then she pulled back. Oh my god. We were so close guys. We were so close and then they rolled away and legit it looks like they kiss and I know people were trying to throw other people off who haven't watched the episode by posting the screenshot that looks like they kiss. We're trying to trick us and <sighs> that's not cool because they didn't kiss but it does look like they did and I wish they did. And then it got even worse because they got to that metal container thingamabob which was being filled up with whipped cream that was so random. But they're in there and they're trapped and Dark Owl's just like ha suckers now this bus is gonna follow this cat. Oh my god, I didn't even bring this up. He has a bus full of animals 
is gonna fall on this poor innocent cat. And then when the timer goes off, it's legit a hologram. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? But back to being in the container thing, he's just like, oh yeah, ain't no way you're gonna get out of here. So you might as well hand me your miraculous. And you know, Ladybug and Ken Noir being their superhero selves are trying to find a way, but then the whipped cream is just filling up and I'm just freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is actually going to happen. This is gonna be the first time we're gonna lose the Miraculouses. What is going on? And then the unthinkable happens because Ladybug, being the genius she is, decides to take off her Miraculous and de transform. In that moment, I was saying a lot of curse words because I thought that this was it, like this was going to be the identity reveal and I was not prepared for it. It's been over a year since I've started watching this show, but I'm still not prepared for this identity reveal. And if it was going to happen right then, I probably would have started crying because it's just like, I'm not ready for it. But Ladybug's all just like, oh yeah, Cat Noir, just trust me. Like, we're going to take them off and we're going to close our eyes and we're not going to open them. And it's going to be great. And I'm like, what? And it happens. It happens. They take them off. They have their eyes closed. And I still can't believe that they kept their eyes closed that whole entire time. Like, if I were Adrian, for example, I would have opened my eyes because... Like, Cat Noir is in love with Ladybug, and you know, if I were him, I would be very curious to see who's under Ladybug's mask. So they take them off and they de-transform, and then Tiki and Plague show up, and they see each other, and I love Plague's reaction, because he's just like, <gasps> and then Tiki's just like, shh, that's so funny. So the identity reveal we get is not between Adrian and Marnette, but it's between Tiki and Plague, and this is just, it's so much more interesting, because... You know, I love Tiki and Black and they're great. And I think because of this, they're now going to have an even important role because I feel like we don't really see them that much. And I think they're wonderful. So I'm really excited that they now get to play this important part. But I'm so scared of, like, if they're going to say something. I have so many questions on whether or not they're going to say something to Marinette or Adrian. So Marinette points the Miraculous in this, like, little lever box thing of a mob. And I'm freaking out because they're being transported to Hawk Moss and I'm like, oh my god, Hawk Moss has won. He's actually won. It's all because of Dark Owl. Like, are you serious? But Hawk Moss gets them and they're the fake miraculous. Ladybug and Cat Noir, being the awesome superheroes they are, blast out in their outfits and Ladybug's all like, oh yeah, I made a fake miraculous and it shows... Marnette, when she put her hands on Adrian's, you know, it looked like she was taking his real Miraculous, but she actually just closed them and pushed them back, and then I guess, I don't know what she did, I guess she just had the fake ones in her hand and put them in the lever box, but it was really cute when you can see Adrian gasp, and Tiki goes up to him, it was so cute. And then it ended on a really good note, because Black Owl gets to do a superhero little thing, and like, he gets to call people and help out and it's great and I loved it when Ladybug Cat Noir just like, oh now we don't have to help him every day, like we have some free time and Cat Noir just looks at her and is just like, so would you like to go to the movies with me then and I lost it. But of course Ladybug's just like, uh -huh, sorry but I've been promising to hang out with my friend to play video games with her which I know she had been saying that to Alia because she and Adrian both kept making excuses for not hanging out with their friends because, you know, they're related by Kendawar. And so she leaves and just like, bye bye, kitty. And Kendawar, his look to her, he's just like, oh, it is so good. Now I'm just like full of happiness thinking about the way Kendawar looked at her because he's so in love and I love it. But this episode, though, was really, really, really good. It may be my favorite. It's either this one or the episode before where the baby guy Kumatai's. That was just so great. But I think that's all I have to say for this review. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments down below because I like talking about Miraculous Ladybug. I don't have any friends who liked this show, so 
I like to come to the internet and talk about it and if you want more Epsilon reviews, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I'm Courtney and I'll see you all next time with a new video soon so I will see you then so bye!